try to remember your favorite dish its smell its taste the way it felt in your mouth now think about what you ate 2 weeks ago not as easy, easy to recollect is it so how is it that some some things are easier to remember while others are not the answer lies in how our brain forms memories and stores them now Every time you do something new, a neuron fires up and sends a signal to the adjacent neuron. Almost every neuron in our body is linked to another through junctions called synapses. A synapse is kind of like a space into which certain chemicals are released to transmit messages easily between neurons. It's kind of like So, for example, I had to call a friend of mine. And let's just say I had to dial the person's number every time I had to call them. Now, Every single time I repeat this action, a certain set of neurons fire. And the more they fire, that is, the more this action is repeated, the stronger the link between them becomes and the faster the stimulation next time. And that's how it gets easier for me to remember my friend's phone number. This is also why with more practice you can remember those states from your history lesson. Maybe you'd actually remember them if you practiced. Yeah! The topic Now these connections between neurons aren't just strengthened randomly closely correlated neurons that fire together are more likely to have their synaptic connections strengthened a phrase that comes in handy is cells that wire together fire together some memories are naturally stronger because they tend to be linked to Im- intense emotion like well you get the point Memories are stored throughout your brain as part of your cerebral cortex, the outermost portion of your brain, although the distribution is uneven. Some of your memories reach long-term memory, and one way of doing that is through a process called long-term potentiation. Now, coming to the other side of the coin, why do we forget? We've all had that one day where we've wished if only we could remember everything we saw all at once. and we've also had those days when we've more desperately wanted to forget those embarrassing moments of our life that keep popping up at the worst time possible some memories fade over time gradually while some random memories that form throughout the day are forgotten just as randomly some memories can be forgotten intentionally too which is called as motivated forgetting so the more a certain group of neurons fire together the stronger their connection becomes meaning the more we practice the better we remember the implication in order to think about something you need to remember it and in order to remember you got to practice so practice might not make perfect but it will help you remember thanks for watching